This is a video about how to upgrade the RAM on a HP Compact 6710B laptop. Now, the laptop comes with 1GB of RAM, but that isn't really enough for today, so this is how to upgrade it to 4GB, which is the maximum it can take. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you've shut down the computer, because if you're going to be taking parts out, then you wouldn't want it to be on. And then once you've done that, you need to unplug the charger if it isn't already plugged in. And take the battery out with these two tabs here that slide to the side. Let me just put this off to the side out of the way somewhere. Then you need to take this cover off. And then under here is one of the RAM slots. But there's actually another one further inside. So to get to that one you've got to take out the three screws for the keyboard. There's one here. One here. and one under this cover here. Now these screws won't actually fall out of the computer, they'll still stay in part of the way, just make sure that they're fully unscrewed and that they're loose. Then you need to flip it over and take the keyboard off. So it's attached on with these four things here. They just slide down with a screwdriver. Then you should be able to take it out by the corners. Will be attached by a cable. Now, I don't need to take that out. Um, this is the round that's in it. Now you need to make sure that you're wearing a anti-static wrist strap of some sort, so that you don't damage the RAM with electrostatic discharge. And then it should just come out when you uh, pull things to the side here. You can pull it out at an angle like this. Then this is the RAM that I've got to put in it. It's two two gigabyte sticks. So I'll just take these out of the packet. So I've got them out of the box now and they just fit in the same way that you took the old one out. Put them in at an angle. And just push them down and then it should click into place. Then you turn it over to put the other one in. And then the other one should just go in the same way, although this socket seems to be made out of a different material, so it's a bit more difficult to get it in. Just make sure that it's fully in and not sticking out at all. Then you need to flip it back over and put the keyboard back on. Okay, so putting the keyboard back on is quite easy actually. You just got to um, slide it in like this. Then the four things just slot back up with the screwdriver again. A bit like the way you took it off, just in reverse. And you got to turn it back over. Put the screws back in, and once you put those three screws back in, then the cover goes back on. And then the battery will just clip back in, like that. Actually, something's just come up on the screen here. You can see there it says that it's detected that the memory size has changed. So I'm going to press F1 to save the changes so I don't have to set it on myself. Okay, I don't know how well you can see on there. This camera's not very good, but you can see it's now got 4 gigabytes of RAM. And down there, that red graph there is the RAM usage. And it's a lot lower than it was before.